Hi, this is Brian from Riverside Reptiles Education Center. Welcome to our YouTube channel. Please don't forget to like and subscribe at the end of this video. Now today we're going to talk about something that I find extremely fascinating, it's a type of animal, um, but it's not incredibly showy like venomous snakes or giant crocodilians, but I find them just as fascinating and those are salamanders. I absolutely love salamanders and a neat thing about salamanders, especially here in North America, is that we have more species of salamanders here in the United States than anywhere else in the world. Um, and there's lots and lots of cool ones. Here at the center, uh, we don't have a lot of salamanders now, but we're starting to put together our amphibian exhibit. Um, and we do have some cool ones. And I have some right here that I wanna share with you. Now these guys are one of my absolute favorite species of salamanders. Uh, they are called tiger salamanders. Barred tiger salamanders from uh, the American Midwest. And you can see they have some nice tiger stripes on them as well. Tiger salamanders are considered one of the largest terrestrial species of salamanders. Uh, I think he wants to bite the camera. <laughs> you, might, you might be a little hungry. But they do go to the water, of course, to lay their eggs, like most amphibians. Uh, most amphibians do go through some type of complete metamorphosis, meaning they lay their eggs in the water, the eggs hatch out into a larval form. The larval form breathes oxygen in the water. And then as the larva starts to feed, uh, starts to grow, starts to develop legs, and eventually moves on to land and continues its life in the, the adult form. Uh, not all salamanders do this, uh, but these guys do. They're a member of the mole salamander family, uh, Empistomatids. And they're very closely related to a salamander you find here in Connecticut called the spotted salamander. Now, a couple interesting facts about tiger salamanders is that they are toxic. They do have toxins or poisons in their skin, um, which are only released when the animal is under duress. So if it was being attacked by a predator, in its tail, it would secrete, almost looks like Elmer's glue, and it wiggles its tail, trying to attract, the motion would be trying to attract the predator. If the predator tried to grab the tail, it would get a mouthful of that sticky goo, that poison. Supposedly, I've never tried eating a salamander, but it probably tastes pretty bad. And, and if it consumed most animals, especially mammals, it might give it um, an upset stomach or make it kind of sick. These guys are captive. I've had them for over a decade. Uh, these guys can live for 15 to 20 years in captivity. So they're very used to being handled. They're not gonna put any sticky toxins on my finger. Another interesting fact about tiger salamanders and other salamanders in general is that they can actually regenerate their limbs. So we know lizards, which are reptiles, um, some of them can lose their tail, which is called caudal autonomy. Uh, caudal meaning tail, autonomy meaning it can drop off. It can, they can just drop their tails uh, when they feel threatened. So these guys can do that as well. Um, but if they get uh, their legs bitten off by a predator, uh, they can actually grow back a new leg, which no other vertebrate can do, which is absolutely incredible. And I have another one in here. It's... <laughs> you see they're really big. They get about 10 to 12 inches. Males get a little bit longer than the females. You can see the female in my left hand, here's the male, a little skinnier, and they get a little bit longer. And these guys are voracious predators. I mean, they eat anything that moves and that can fit into their mouth. So we feed them a lot of crickets and cockroaches, but they'll even eat pinky mice. And you gotta be careful if you do keep pet salamanders, uh, not to put smaller ones in of larger ones, because the smaller ones will definitely try and take a bite out of the little ones if not completely consume the little guys. So, Although they make interesting pets, um, you do have to be careful. And also another thing to keep in mind, as I said before, they live 15 to 20 years, so know what you're getting into. They're not high maintenance pets, but they are a commitment because they live so long. Another great thing about salamanders, which I love about them, is that they're also known as environmental indicators. Um, so 
in my previous life, I did a lot of field uh, research and I would go looking for populations of amphibians, especially salamanders. And if I saw an area that looked pristine and looked like it could hold salamanders, but I didn't find any salamanders there, I knew something was up with the area. Uh, because these guys are very sensitive to any type of pollutions, especially water pollution. Uh, so if I didn't find any salamanders in the area, I knew something was up with the water area, with the watershed. Uh, because uh, they wouldn't be, they weren't, um, they weren't there. So environmental indicators, very important parts of our ecosystem. All right, so I got some of their absolutely favorite food, little cockroaches. And just to get a really cool camera effect, I'm going to throw some at Melina right now. You ready? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just joking. I'm going to do that to you, Melina. Um, these are dubia roaches. Many of you probably recognize these. Um, it's, a, it's a very common insect that is bred for in, uh, reptiles and amphibians. So, oop, dropped one in the water. So we're going to see if uh, we can get any of these guys to eat. Right now, it looks like she just wants to walk. <laughs> You hungry today? Oh, there we go. As I said, they are voracious predators. I mean, she doesn't even care I'm holding her. Just wiggle that food right in front of her. Gulp, goodbye food. So much for watching this video i hope you enjoyed it if you have any questions about salamanders please leave them in the comments below again please subscribe and like this channel and until next time the salamanders and i say goodbye